In this tutorial, I will show you how to create Christmas balls like this one here. Now this is very simple to do in Corel Draw. Uh, let's analyze the picture first. So basically this one, I'm just going to move that there. So that's transparency. And we also have, I'm just going to click on this object here and move it, move it to the right side so that's also a transparency but I know that's gradient transparency so to make an illusion that it has a shadow or shading okay and this round thing is uh, we can use fish eye lens effect for that okay so now in order to recreate that I'm going to create the background first so I'm going to create a rectangle so okay I went here and then rectangle and then I'm going to make a, a fountain fill so I click on my fountain fill here and let's say I'll start from this color here I'm not going to make it exactly the same but I'll I'll will choose a different color so that one not really quite okay so I'll click on this okay let's say that one and then here I'll make it 90 degrees so that it would be from top to bottom and then I click OK, okay. so I have this one now now I'm going to create the stars okay that's the complex star actually so if you go here to complex star and then you click and drag okay. now in here it's nine points in the property bar here it says there it's nine points of the polygon so I can increase that by okay, clicking on that icon there to go to have more points and this one is the sharpness too okay, okay so let's say I'm happy with this okay I'm happy with this star what I'll do here if I want to get just the silhouette of it okay I click on it and I go to effects and click on create boundary so once you create create boundary you're gonna have two objects now this is the boundary and this one is the star so I can already delete that now I already have this one so I'll make it white and I'll remove the outline by mouse click on this X icon here right mouse click and the outline is gone now what I'll do, I will duplicate this one by 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 hitting the plus on your keyboard, and now I have this here. I have two duplicates now. Plus on your keyboard or Control D, Control D, and there I have the that row. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this again. So hold down, uh, click on the plus on your keyboard or control D and bring it down. Okay. But instead of bringing it down, I would offset it a little bit like that. Okay. Now I can select this row and then plus sign your keyboard or control D and move it down. Okay. Now I will, I will click on one okay and then I'll go to my keyboard and plus sign your keyboard again to duplicate and then I'll make it smaller okay and what I'll do I'll just alternate it like this okay so plus sign your keyboard or duplicate and I can make random stars plus sign so I'm just duplicating it there and maybe this one here I'm going to duplicate it again bring it down so now I have a little bit of pattern there because we're not really going to use the whole space now I'm okay with this pattern here so what I'll do I'll create a circle okay click on your ellipse tool and hold down control 
and click and drag to make a perfect circle I'll just maximize that rectangle and then I'm just going to position it here initially and I'll go to my uh, click on window and then you go to your dockers and click on the lens okay so your docker will show up here in the right side and in here I I choose fish eye and see now it goes like that and then you can control the fish eye lens by going to this this option here for the rate and percentage now I can still move it I'm going to see which is the best position here uh, let's see in here oh, let's do. okay so so it's up to you. You can move move the circle wherever you want to put it, and then once you're satisfied with the with the view, let's say you're okay with this one. Let's say I'm fine with this. I'll click on Frozen. Okay, so you click on Frozen so that you have just that view, and then you can move it out. Okay. Now you don't need this anymore, so I can delete this. And move this down here okay. so now you notice in the original here I'm just gonna size it down I'm going to remove the outline by right mouse click on this okay. now if you notice this one here yeah there's like a actually this one okay so how do we do that um, so so it's very simple you click on your rectangular tool and then click and drag okay and then what you do is you convert this to curves first so you can edit the nodes so you go to arrange convert to curves okay so once you have convert to curves you go to your shape tool and you can move this like this and you can move it like this too or you can shape it like that now you can reshape the rectangle now in here if you notice this one it's like jagged right so what I'll do I'll go to my shape tool double click to create a node double click double click double click double click double click and maybe one more double click okay. so now I have nodes already so because I have nodes if I go to my shape tool then I can reshape my object add this one and I probably need one more so I'll double click here and there then you can just adjust it okay so let's say I'm happy with this and I, what I need to do is I'm just going to put the a gradient uh, fill on this one so I go to my fountain fill and I think there's a preset here I go to my preset and I think there is a cylinder gold let's say number two okay it's not the one uh, gold number four let's say I'm okay with this one okay see these triangles here you can adjust the the gradients okay. let's say you're happy with that you just click okay okay I, I think I'm fine with this one okay so I'm just going to remove the outline by right mouse click here and uh, now if you notice here it has like a a let's go here it has like a from dark to light right okay. so what you can do with your other key you can go back to your font and fill this one you click on that rectangle and you can actually make that darker uh, it's too dark uh, I'll put that back to there and this one actually I'll make it uh, darker like this I can make this one I can move that over and then okay so maybe this one I'll make it dark too just